Hello everyone, this is Sarah with the York County Library. Welcome. I am inviting you to take on a creative challenge with me. I have some free time on my hands and I want to make something. So looking behind me, you might think that I would crochet or knit something, which I already have, um, but I'm pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and tackling a daily drawing challenge. Okay, right, so what challenge am I taking on? Well, York County Library card holders have access to Creative Bug, which has a collection of hundreds of arts and craft classes that you can take from home. So the challenge that I have chosen to attempt is the 29 day challenge. It is called the Daily Drawing Challenge, 29 things to draw with Molly Hatch and Heather Ross. I'll share my journey through following the classes and show you what I come up with. There were other drawing challenges on Creative Blog that I was considering as well. Um, both of them were daily drawing challenges. One was 31 Things to Draw with Lisa Congdon, and the other was 31 Things to Draw with Pamela Garrison. So I invite you to look through Creative Blog to find something that you think would challenge you or something that would hone existing skills or teach you a new one. It's really easy to get to it and all you need is a York County Library card. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make sure I have all of my equipment. Got my pencil, got my eraser, and my pencil sharpener, and my paper. So the first drawing challenge is to draw an apple and our instructor is Heather Ross. And I really like how she instructed us on creating the apple. She had an apple on hand, but she said that you don't have to try to make your drawing look like the apple. She wanted us to use the apple for reference, but also what we knew about apples. So what you do first is put down very sketchy lines. You're trying to get a feel for the form, and you can erase lines that you don't like. And having nice light lines in the beginning is good because you can get rid of them. Now once you start laying down the darker lines, which are the lines that you like, it's a little harder to erase. So that sketching in the beginning really helps you to create what your final drawing is going to look like without having to commit to the dark lines. So one of the things that Heather did in her video was do some light shading around the edges and in places where there were shadow. This makes the object pop off the page. Once you put in highlights, so something that brings the object forward, that brings it up. And I've added a shadow just to make it look like it's there on the page. It gives it more weight and body. So there it is. But I couldn't stop there. I had to keep going. So I started drawing other things and realized that um, that kind of looked like a bell pepper. And that kind of looks like a cherry. And so I was like, well, what else looks like an uh, apple? <laughs> How about a pumpkin? So here's my little jack-o'-lantern. From there, I decided I wanted to put a little color on the page, so I got out some colored pens and started drawing. First thing I did was started with a apple, but I ended up making it a cherry. You'll see that soon. And then I made a little apple on the side and a little cherry for reference. I was getting them kind of confused. So when I drew the smaller ones, I decided, hey, let me do a green apple and a little red apple friend. And it was also here on the green apple that I started putting other colors down on the green. And then I decided they needed eyes. <laughs> So then I combined the pencil and pen method. I used the instructions that Heather used in her class um, using the sketchy lines to create the apple. But then when I picked my final lines, instead of using darker lines with the pencil, I used the pen. So I'm using a red pen here. And I really liked doing this. I could kind of use the sketchy lines underneath for reference. And once I was done, I was able to erase the lines which unfortunately isn't on the video. And then later on, I went even further and put some green and some orange and some pink in. But there's what it looked like at the beginning. And there are my other little friends.
Will drawing an apple a day keep a cabin fever away? Oh, hey! So, that was a lot of fun. Um, it's been a long time since I've just focused on drawing one object. I'm usually a doodler. Um, it's really nice to listen to someone talk about the process. It's been a while since I've taken an art class. I hope you go to Creative Book today and find something that interests you and share it with us. We have a Facebook page and an Instagram page as well. You can follow us and comment and let us know how you're being creative. Well everyone, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me on day one of my 29 day drawing challenge. I hope to see you for day two. Please take a look around at the other content we have on our YouTube channel. We are growing it and I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, this is Sarah with the York County Library saying, stay creative York County. So I did mention that I've been doing other crafty creative stuff with my free time. Um, and I did mention that behind me you may think that I crochet and knit, and I do. Um, I've been crocheting. The first thing that I got done during my free time um, is this doily that I finished. Um, I've done it with yarn that's a little bit bigger than the pattern asked for, so it's bigger than your usual doily. Um, I guess for reference, you can kind of see where it is on my face. For reference, this is my first doily with uh, the <laughs> with crochet thread, which is what you're supposed to use. You can see it's it's a bit it's a bit more wee, but having used bigger yarn for this, <laughs> I wanted to go even bigger, so I did. So here is my giant mega doily. Um, this doily features the pineapple pattern. I bet you can spot where the pineapple is. Yes, um, the pineapple pattern actually repeats twice uh, from the center and on both sides. Um, that is your pineapple right there, a little bit in the middle. Um, so yes, it's a, it's, it's a bit bigger. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been doing. Um, hope that you're also staying crafty and creative. And I'm looking forward to day two. I haven't looked to see what it is just yet. I'll have to wait until next time. Alright, just gotta make sure we save it under the right file name. What should I call it? Whoa, did I just see a spider? No? Where did he go?